Well, when we first started developing Jonah, um, we were thinking about it as a typical half hour of Veggie Tales. Uh, but as we were working on the outline and, and the script, um, you know, a typical half hour uh, script is 30 pages. It's sort of a page a minute. So uh, by the time we got to page 19, um, and we weren't even through the first scene yet, <laughs> we figured uh, it, this was just going to be much bigger. So. Um, so after a while, we just uh, we decided that wow, maybe this should be our first film. It felt like a a, a real you know real nice Veggie Tales story, but um, you know on a on a much larger scale. So that's why we decided to develop it into a feature film. Well, Jonah's different, mostly just in scale. I mean, it's huge. To make it a feature, we've really had to you know, turn everything up all the way, you know, the, the level of uh, visuals, the story, the music, um, everything about it just screams feature film. And so uh, there's, there's just a lot about this movie that we're, we're really proud of. Um, we're proud about the look. We're proud about, uh, you know, all of the, the hard work that's gone into it. When we finally saw the art coming back, saw the models being developed, and then, you know, when images started coming out, I mean, it was so much bigger and prettier than anything we've ever done. Everything about it is just, uh, you know, 10 notches above what we've ever done before. But then it's the same, really, in, in all the things that make VeggieTales what it is. You know, the humor um, it, it has the same kind of quirky look at a Bible story. The teaching is really, really strong. You know, we, we don't write anything until we've figured out what's the central theme of this story that we want to bring out. And how can that apply to a kid's life? The, the characters are the same. We've got all of the familiar, lovable VeggieTales characters still there. Bob and Larry and Junior and Laura and Archibald Asparagus. Um, the pirates that don't do anything play a big role in Jonah. The uh, music is as fun and quirky as ever. Um, and just the level of, level of humor and, uh, and everything is, is, is very typical for VeggieTales. Well, there were there were a lot of challenges, and we were a studio that had never done anything, you know, longer than 37 minutes was our longest film, and we'd never done anything at film resolution. So every frame of a film of, of a theatrical film has about um, six times more information in it than a video frame. And then making the frames um, look pretty enough to fill up a whole movie screen, um, you know, just in the art direction and the design. And the fact that it was, you know. For starters, twice as long. Um, we ended up, yeah, you know, we've got computers, you know, stuffed into the bathrooms around here. We have so many computers to try to get the film done on time. There were so, so many hurdles. It was really a huge undertaking. Our story is is um, very much similar to the theme of, of the story in the Bible. We've kept that central theme of, of compassion and mercy um, and second chances. I mean, those are really the central themes in the story of Jonah. And we've been able to uh, maintain the integrity of the end of the film. A lot of the other, uh, I, I've seen a bunch of sort of storybook adaptations of Jonah. And um, what those uh, adaptations do normally is they end when Nineveh repents, um, which really isn't the whole story. I mean, there's, there's, there's a, a whole chapter devoted to uh, in, in the book, in, in the biblical account of Jonah, Jonah sitting above the hill waiting for God to destroy Nineveh. Um, and we've kept that in because it's actually um, very central to the theme of Jonah. And you think, you know, man, they're really, they're really changing the story just because you see vegetables walking around instead of people. But, you know, in some cases, we're actually writing dialogue that's directly quoting scripture. Where it's different is, you know, the obvious ways uh, Jonah wasn't a vegetable. Um, we, we took the character of the worm from the very end of the story of Jonah. And this is, Jonah's the only story in the Bible that I know of where a worm plays a, a pivotal point. Um, and we took that character of the worm and actually built out that character to follow Jonah throughout the film, kind of as his traveling buddy. And that's one of the little, you know, creative elaborations that we took, which still stays true to the themes and actually stays true to all the plot points of the biblical account, uh, but just builds it up to turn it, you know, it, what's just a fairly short story in the Bible into a 75-minute story that you can get involved in, you know, for, for more than an hour. Yes, well, Jonah was a prophet, and a prophet was basically a mailman who delivered God's messages um, to Israel. He was a prophet, and he loved delivering God's messages to, to his friends, the Israelites, until one day God gives him a message to deliver to the Ninevites. And the Ninevites were Israel's enemies, and they were mean, mean, bad people. Didn't know right from wrong. So Jonah doesn't want to go there. He doesn't want to give them a message. He doesn't want them to have a chance um, to repent 
to do the right thing and to be spared. He wants God to wipe them off the face of the earth. So Jonah runs the other way. Instead of going to Nineveh, he gets on a ship for Tarshish, the opposite end of the world. And of course, there's a huge storm while he's at sea, and he confesses that he's running from God. He's gone the wrong way, and the sailors throw him overboard, where instead of drowning, God has mercy on him, gives him a second chance, and has him swallowed by a whale. Jonah prays inside the whale because God had actually saved Jonah, gave him a second chance um, to do what he asked in the first place. Um, and Jonah sees that and repents and then heads towards Nineveh and um, you know, tells them, the, the people of Nineveh, to repent, which they do, um, to Jonah's disliking. He's, he does not want them to repent. He goes up on a hill and waits for God to destroy the city. Um, and the book ends with a question that God asks Jonah, Uh, Jonah, look at all of this compassion and mercy I've shown you. Shouldn't I show that same compassion and mercy to this city, you know, with 100,000 people in it? It's really a fascinating study of one guy and his inability to learn a lesson. Mike and I actually started working on the script for Jonah way back in 1998. We finished the script in 1999, and then in 2000, the film went into production. We, We actually started Jonah once. Um, about two and a half or three years ago, we started to, to, you know, go into production on the film and then just realized uh, we weren't ready for it yet. We weren't ready for the, the scope of the story that we wanted to tell. So we pulled back, sort of regrouped a little bit, and then began again about a year and a half ago um, in, in production. Hey, you're welcome. And remember, God made you special, and he loves you very much. Well, and not doing anything is a brand new angle. Nobody's ever done that. By not doing anything, we're doing something nobody's done before. That's huge for box office. And we're on the cutting edge of idleness. Yeah, it's like when Dorothy walked out of black and white and into color, except we're sitting down eating cheese curls, which are orange and tasty. What? No, it's more like the jazz singer, the first movie with talking. Except, yeah, uh, except our movie has talking but no jazz. You just don't get it. Um, I am Larry. The beard and the eye patch are just a clever disguise. Ah, Bob and Larry are good guys. They know that it's us character actors that set the stage for the stars. Not a lot of people know that Bob is a classically trained Shakespearean tomato. The Barco Lounger is an all-time classic. Have you ever tried the vibrating easy chair with the matching feet-warming ottoman? For snacking, a lazy Susan gets my vote. You can't beat spinning meats and cheeses. The whole ship was on rockers. Yeah, it was shot in the same giant water tank where they filmed Water World. It's moments like those that you realize you're following in some pretty big footsteps. Oh, well, the Chicago Tribune said we had a self-referential sense of humor that has won over as many adults as kids. What's self-referential? Uh, that is. What is? Self-referential. Yeah, what's that? You're being self-referential. Really? And that's funny? Aye. Next question. A cutting edge fashion sense. Puffy shirts, big hats, authentic eye patches, leather boots. If you don't look the part, you can't be the part. Optimism. You've got to think, hey, I may have a hook for a hand and a peg for a leg, but at least I'm out in the fresh sea air. A natural immunity to scurvy doesn't hurt either. What profession? We're pirates who, uh, well, uh, don't do anything. Uh, the main problem with that is a lack of free time. I mean, when your whole job is not doing anything, you tend to take it home with you. Yeah, you can't just leave that at work. The next thing you know, you aren't doing anything at home either. You'll never get a break. But it has its upsides too. When people say, what you doing? Working hard or hardly working? I just say both. I do the same thing. It really confuses them. Um, I'd say scorekeepers for soccer games. For like two hours, they've got to change the scoreboard twice, maybe three times. You gotta admire someone who has to do so little for so long. The Pirates of Penzance. Those guys almost had the whole show to themselves. Of course, that would have been a lot of work. I better think about that one some more. 
Oh, that's easy. More cheese coils. Actually, I like carne asada and ravioli. Kung Pao Squid. Well, I learned that compassion is when you see that someone needs help and you want to help them. And I learned that God shows us mercy by giving us second chances, even when we don't deserve them. Kind of like when I gave you some of my scampi. You didn't deserve it, but I gave you some just the same. We also learned some really great Twippo songs. Oh, and don't forget, we all learned how to sail. Busy? Is that supposed to be funny? You better leave the jokings to us. You're welcome. Hey, no problem. Yep, the less we do, the busier we get. Kung Pao Squid? Are you guys still doing that pirate thing? Arg! Watch your tongue, matey, or we'll have to... What'll we do? We won't do anything. We're the pirates that don't do anything, remember? Oh, that's right. Arg! You got off easy today! Ahem. <clears throat> We're telling a little story. You should listen, too. Compassion is when you want to help someone who needs help. Mercy is when you give someone a second chance, even if they don't deserve it. This story is about both of them. Money is no object. Next stop, Tarshish! My name is Khalil. I am a caterpillar. Well, that is only half true. My mother was a caterpillar. My father was a worm. But I am okay with that now. You are Jonah! You are huge! You are a celebrity! You and God are like bees in a pod! We're in a storm! Like I never seen before! If we don't do something quick, we're gonna sink! Somebody up there must be really upset with somebody down here! All right, men! Go fish! Loser takes a swim! I admit it. It's my fault. All my fault. I'm the one to blame. I'm afraid the only thing left is to be thrown into the sea. Aw, you don't have to do that. We got a plank. You can just walk off. Yes, thank you. You're too kind. Our reputation precedes us. All we need to do is get this whale to swim to Nineveh. We'll be right back on track. Please don't speak to me. I'm having a rather bad day. You know the difference between you and me is that you see the whale as half empty, but I see the whale as half full. Something big is coming. There's something in the water! Something beyond imagination. The only thing left is to be thrown into the sea. It's not animal. My mother was a caterpillar. My father was a worm. But I am okay with that now. It's not mineral. Arg! Watch your tongue, matey! Therefore, it must be vegetable. You are a Jonah! You are a human! This fall, set sail. There's nothing like a cruise to clean the sand out of your wicked Hi! For the ultimate adventure. Next stop, Tarshish! I'll hoist the mainsail! I'll pop the popcorn! I'll get the moist towelettes! And the tail of the biggest fish in the sea. You see the whale is half empty, but I see the whale is half full! The veggies are at it again. Our reputation precedes us. Veg out. Jonah, a Veggie Tales movie, coming this October to a theater near you. Something big is coming. There's something in the water! Something beyond.
beyond imagination. The only thing left is to be thrown into the sea. It's not animal. My mother was a caterpillar. My father was a worm. But I am okay with that now. It's not mineral. Arrgh! Watch your tongue, matey! Therefore, it must be vegetable. You are Jonah! You are huge! This fall, set sail. There's nothing like a cruise to clean the sand out of your wicked eye! For the ultimate adventure. Next stop, Cardish! I'll hoist the mainsail! I'll pop the popcorn! I'll get the moist towelette! And the tail of the biggest fish in the sea. You see the whale is half empty, but I see the whale is half full. The veggies are at it again. Our reputation precedes us. Veg out. Jonah, a Veggie Tales movie, coming next month to a theater near you. Something big is coming. There's something in the water! Something beyond imagination. The only thing left is to be thrown into the sea. It's not animal. My mother was a caterpillar. My father was a worm. But I am okay with that now. It's not mineral. Arrgh! Watch your tongue, matey! Therefore, it must be vegetable. You are Jonah! You are huge! This fall, set sail. There's nothing like a cruise to clean the sand out of your wicked eye. For the ultimate adventure. Next stop, Cardish. I'll hoist the mainsail. I'll pop the popcorn. I'll get the moist towelette. And the tail of the biggest fish in the sea. You see the whale is half empty, but I see the whale is half full. The veggies are at it again. Our reputation precedes us. Veg out. Jonah, a Veggie Tales movie, coming next week to a theater near you. Something big is coming. There's something in the water! Something beyond imagination. The only thing left is to be thrown into the sea. It's not animal. My mother was a caterpillar. My father was a worm. But I am okay with that now. It's not mineral. Arrgh! Watch your tongue, matey! Therefore, it must be vegetable. You are Jonah! You are a human! This fall, set sail. There's nothing like a cruise to clean the sand out of your wicked eye. For the ultimate adventure. Next stop, Cardish. I'll hoist the mainsail. I'll pop the popcorn. I'll get the moist towelette. And the tail of the biggest fish in the sea. You see the whale is half empty, but I see the whale is half full. The veggies are at it again. Our reputation precedes us. Veg out. Jonah, a Veggie Tales movie, coming this weekend to a theater near you. Something big is coming. There's something in the water! Something beyond imagination. The only thing left is to be thrown into the sea. It's not animal. My mother was a caterpillar. My father was a worm. But I am okay with that now. It's not mineral. Arrgh! Watch your tongue, matey! Therefore, it must be vegetable. You are Jonah! You are a human! This fall, set sail. There's nothing like a cruise to clean the sand out of your wicked eye. For the ultimate adventure. Next stop, Cardish. I'll hoist the mainsail. I'll pop the popcorn. I'll get the moist towelette. And the tail of the biggest fish in the sea. You see the whale is half empty, but I see the whale is half full. The veggies are at it again. Our reputation precedes us. Veg out. Jonah, a Veggie Tales movie, now showing at a theater near you. Set sail with your favorite VeggieTales characters for a special red carpet event live from Nashville, Tennessee. Next stop, Tarshish! I'll hoist the mainsail! I'll pop the popcorn! I'll get the moist towelette! Tune in right here for a special two-hour radio premiere of Jonah, a VeggieTales movie. You are Jonah! You are huge! It's an exciting preview of one whale of a movie. There's nothing like a cruise on the great sea to clean the sand out of your wicked eye. But there, there's something in the water! With interviews. Uh, Mike and I were looking for another Bible story. Giveaways. Money is no object. Great music. Well, what do you want? A big musical number? Well, yeah.
Set sail with your favorite VeggieTales characters for a special red carpet event live from Nashville, Tennessee. Tune in right here for a special two-hour radio premiere of Jonah, a VeggieTales movie. You are Jonah! You are huge! It's an exciting preview of one whale of a movie with interviews, giveaways, great music, and lots more. Jonah is ready to make a huge splash at your local Christian bookstore. You are Jonah! You are huge! Get ready for this exciting new movie with an event of epic proportions. We're in a storm like i never seen before. And if we don't do something quick, we're gonna sink! It's your chance to win free tickets to Jonah, a VeggieTales movie. Next stop, Tarshish! I'll hoist the mainsail! I'll pop the popcorn! I'll get the moist towelette! and to be among the first to see the new books, toys, games, and apparel that veggie fans are sure to love. You give the message, I sell the plush toys. We'll be right back on track. Grab the whale by the tail. You see the whale is half empty, but I see the whale is half full. Don't miss the excitement. Saturday, August 3rd at your favorite Christian retail store. Jonah is ready to make a huge splash at your local Christian bookstore. You are Jonah! You are huge! Get ready for this exciting new movie with an event of epic proportions. It's your chance to win free tickets to Jonah, a VeggieTales movie, and to be among the first to see the new books, toys, games, and apparel that veggie fans are sure to love. Grab the whale by the tail. It's a wave of excitement that's been building for years. Uh, there, there's something in the water! Now, the movie you've been waiting for is almost here. You are Jonah! You are huge! The premiere of Jonah, a VeggieTales movie, is around the corner. But VeggieTales fans can get a head start on the fun. Next stop, Tarshish! I'll hoist the mainsail! I'll pop the popcorn! I'll get the moist towelettes! Books, music, and videos that will have you singing in the aisles. Clothes that let everyone know you're ready for a whale of a tail. Games and toys that let you in on the fun from the very beginning. All with the quality and message you've come to expect from the makers of VeggieTales. Visit your favorite Christian retailer to experience Jonah, a VeggieTales movie. The premiere of Jonah, a VeggieTales movie, is around the corner. But VeggieTales fans can get a head start on the fun. Books, music, and videos that will have you singing in the aisles. Clothes that let everyone know you're ready for a whale of a tail. Games and toys that let you in on the fun from the very beginning. All with the quality and message you've come to expect from the makers of VeggieTales. Jonah, a Veggie Tales movie, coming to a theater near you this October. Jonah, a Veggie Tales movie, in theaters everywhere this October. Call now to win! Call now to win free tickets to Jonah, a Veggie Tales movie. For more information, visit BigIdea.com. Hey, this is Larry. Finish the verse to the song and win. Call now. Hi there, Larry here, inviting you to listen to a very special broadcast live from Nashville, Tennessee. It's the radio premiere of Jonah, a VeggieTales movie, next week on this station. Hi there, Larry here, inviting you to listen to a very special broadcast. Live from Nashville, Tennessee, it's the radio premiere of Jonah, a VeggieTales movie. This week on this station. Hi there, 
Larry here, inviting you to listen to a very special broadcast live from Nashville, Tennessee. It's the radio premiere of Jonah, a VeggieTales movie.